invariably all those patients first will require minimum the procedure we call cardiac catheterization and that is inserting a small tubes to the heart either from the radial artery which is the wrist artery or from the artery in the groin we call the femoral arteries and they go to the heart and take various pictures of the aorta of the heart left ventricle and the coronary arteries based on extent of those abnormalities and the blockages the decision then is made that in some cases about i would say 10 to 15 percent of cases that medical therapy will suffice so maybe the adjustment increase or decrease of some medicines will be good enough then in about 70 percent of cases the one or two blockages may be that serious enough and that advanced that medicine alone will not be good enough so then we get the stent and the stent basically the mesh which is inserted into the artery and now we have a drug coated stent which decrease the chance of reblockage in the future in about 10 to 15 percent of cases once the blockage is very extensive in multiple areas and uh, many arteries are completely blocked then the best treatment is coronary artery bypass surgery and that is we call cabbage or open heart surgery in which chest is open although there are some minimally invasive procedures by open making a small cut at the level of the rib that requires basically surgical incision and uh, attaching various grafts either the vein taken from the leg or the internal memory arteries from the shoulder and then attaches to the blocked arteries distal to the blockage. So it basically bypasses the blockage. So that now the patient have a new conduit to give an additional blood flow to the various areas of the heart. And that has shown that really improves patient's symptoms and in many patient group prolongs their survival and improves their overall prognosis.